little, well, I guess it's an experiment, you might call it. Uh, and I'm going to use a couple people from the audience. I have four envelopes here. Envelope number one, envelope number two, three, and four. And like I said, I'm going to ask for three people from the audience to help me out. Uh, these envelopes contain something important that might be of some interest a little later. Okay? I'd like you to choose an envelope. One, two, three, or four. What is it? You want two? Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, I've got envelope number one, three, and four left. Would you choose an envelope? Number four? Do you want to change your mind? Because whatever envelope is left over is going to be mine. Okay? Envelope number four. I now have envelope one and three. Would you like to help? Come on up, Linda. You waved your hand. I have envelope one and three left. Which envelope would you like? You want three? Okay. With the other two people with that, no, come here. With the other two people with envelopes, come on up. Everybody had a free choice of envelopes, and I was left with envelope number one. Well, how about that? No, they're not. That's why I'm a magician. I wasn't too good in school. What I want you to do, and you had a free choice of envelopes, you left this one for me, tear open your envelopes and take out what's inside. Don't read it yet, because that would be cheating. And I'm going to do the same with my envelopes. Linda, open your, envelope, or your uh, piece of paper, read it, show it to the audience. What does it say? It says yours, an accurate prediction if there ever was one. Try to stick with the group. Yours. And would you open your... And it says yours. And the envelope that they left all along was mine. Thank you. Thank you. Matter. Keep it a souvenir. My, uh, my wife will autograph it for you. I did work for Carnival Cruise Line for a number of years. And when you work on a ship, you would be amazed at the questions you get. There she is. She's pissed. She's leaving. <laughs> yes, she has about 200 times. Mine or hers? We're, we're two days out at sea, and somebody came out to me and said, Does the ship generate its own electricity? I said, No, we got a long extension cord plugged into Miami Beach. I mean, come on. I had another fella come up to me, and he said, Bob, the entertainers sleep on the ship, too. <laughs> you know, how do you answer these questions? I was out landing by the pool one day, and at the time, she was an elderly woman. Now I'm her age. But she was walking around, and she looked like she was confused. So I went up there, and I said, can I help you out? She's wrong. Well, I'm lost. I could never find my cabin. So I look at her cabin number. And I said, I'm going that way. Come on, I'll take you. So we're going down stairwells, across corridors. And she looked at me and she says, you certainly, certainly know your way around this ship. I said, well, I take a lot of cruises. She says, well, what do you do for a living that you can afford to take so many cruises? Well, at this point, I realized she doesn't know I'm one of the entertainers. I thought I had a little fun with her. And I said, I'm a male escort. <laughs> Well, just about that time, here comes another woman in our direction, coming down the corridor, and she goes, Hey, mister, you were fantastic last night. <laughs> uh, are we going to be 
beat the rain? The napkins aren't. Uh, I need a shot glass. There it is. Is anybody out here drinking wine? Wine? Anybody drinking wine? <laughs> <laughs>